How's everybody doing? This is Brian, aka B Dog, with my Blackberry review. I haven't really done Blackberry reviews for a while, so uh, I just figured I'd give you guys a, a little show. So right here, on the left you have the BlackBerry Q10, on the right you have the new BlackBerry Classic, and before I show you the difference I just wanted to show you uh, a bit of the operating system. So um, basically you have your um, apps which is right here and if you swipe all the way to the left you get your hub now the blackberry hub features everything like twitter um, facebook all your calls um, this is basically your hub right here I don't want to show you my personal information, but we'll go over to um, we'll go over here to show you. So basically, you swipe all the way to the left, and you get your hub. You get your emails. Welcome to BlackBerry. Uh, you got your hub right here. So in the BlackBerry Hub, you have your notifications, your BBM, your text, your calls, emergency alerts, and pin messages, which are secret, secure messages you can receive. This is your app tray. You can see right here, you can switch to whatever one you want. If you just swipe, or you can hit whichever one you want. You got your phone, got your dialer, contacts, um, you can open up to four apps at a time so let's say if you got your, your calendar, you got your pictures, You got Blackberry World. Get your weather. Clock. Browser. Uh, we'll pick calculator. So it's two, four, six. So we'll do one more. So you got two, four, six, eight apps open. That's basically how the operating system works. Um, if you want to close them, all you have to do is hit that little X. They all have like little X's right here. Boom. Boom, boom, hit your little X, and your apps will close. And that's it. Same thing here with the classic. Same operating system, swipe to the left, got your hub. Got your apps. Uh, and you got 
can swipe down. You got your settings, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, bedside mode, GPS. Uh, the only difference between the Q10 and the BlackBerry Classic is the little trackpad, which is like a mouse. It's like a little... It's pretty neat. You got your BlackBerry button for your settings, attachments, and everything that comes on the side. You got your uh, back button here. This is the actual call button. And you can close it out with the hang up button right here. Yeah, so you got the Q10 and the Classic. Uh, if you put them side by side, you can see you got a bigger keyboard here. It's a bit wider than the Q10. You got a bigger screen. Um, if you turn the Q10 over, it's got like a, a glass weave type rubbery feel to it. And you turn this over. You can see it's it's well it's a little bit more well made. You know, it's got like a grippy feel to it. You got the word classic right there, your eight megapixel camera. Uh this is an AT and T version. As you can see it's running AT and T right now. I got the Wi Fi on. Um this is actually a T-Mobile version. You can see right here when T-Mobile still sold Blackberries. So you can actually peak. This is the peak function if you just hold it. And you can see on the side right there that I got three notifications. So you just peak. Hold it up. You can see your notifications without going all the way into your hub. Yeah, so um, that's basically the difference. Uh, this, the Q10, actually has a super amyloid screen. You really can't tell right here. This is sort of like a liquid crystal LCD type screen, which is really is really nice though. So I mean, that's the difference between those two. You got a bigger, wider keypad. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, there it's a beautiful, it's a really beautiful, amazing device. But, you know, like I said, if you're a fan of Android or Apple, you're not really going to like, you're not really going to like it too much. But, you know, it's the most secure platform, you know, pretty neat. They, I mean, BlackBerry really makes, they really make like uh, high end premium devices like they're not cheap I mean you can look at it and tell like they really put some thought into it definitely not cheap uh, but uh, if you have any questions you know you can always comment you can uh, hit me up like my page um yeah, so that's pretty much it. I can't really think of anything else I wanted to tell you guys. BlackBerry has a deal with Amazon right now, so they actually have like the Amazon App Store and a BlackBerry Store right there. So you basically have 
two app stores. You got the Amazon App Store and the BlackBerry World App Store. So you won't have any problem with apps. And you can sideload Android apps, as you can see what I did right here with iHeartRadio. You can sideload apps. The little Android guy there. Yeah, so you won't have, you won't really have a problem with apps. Facebook, everything like that, that works. It works like perfectly fine. As you can see, I got Facebook on here, Twitter. I got Facebook on this one. I got Evernote, YouTube. You got uh, you got a lot of apps. You won't have a problem with apps. So there you have it. The BlackBerry Q10 with the QWERTY keyboard and the new BlackBerry Classic. So, like I said, um, if you have any questions, you know, don't be afraid to comment. Um, yeah, and please subscribe and like my page. B Dog out. Peace.